Hi folks! As uh, mentioned in the last episode, today we are going to have a look at lights. Since we got this motorcycle, the feeling has always been that the lights are kind of dim. That goes for the headlight and also the running lights. Let's see what we can do about that. First, what did the postman ring? The traditional setup. Then some fancy decorative lights and the own remote controller. And what could be better than running lights? Well, that has to be a double set of running lights. In addition, we need cable, strips, relays, etc. Let's get to work. We will change the headlight first. The uh, new reflector comes with its own Valkyrie adapter bracket already pre-installed. While you watch through this video, you will notice uh, a little rust in a few spots. We are making a list and um, at a later date, maybe in the spring, we will make a new video. This new video will be dealing with uh, spring cleaning and fix up of all small details. At that time, these things will disappear. Thank you. 
okay. And there you have it. Plug and play. It worked exactly like the seller told us. And uh, on top of that, the whole conversion took less than 10 minutes. Very good. Next day, when we were to start the uh, running lights rebuild, rain took the city. Fortunately, my brother was away and I was able to use his garage. And the lighting conditions in there is perfect for this. Now we start rebuilding the running lights. This video will be quite long, but I had a lot of fun doing this, so please feel free to skip the parts that bore you. I quickly found out that the buckets for these LED inserts were a little bit smaller than I thought. So I had to remove the original plugs and do it my way.
and uh, as you can see very clearly see you will get every detail in this video the interior with this rushed protector it is really sticky There is a little trick right here. I had to use a plier and bend the um, metal on the bucket in three separate spots so that the um, lead insert could lie on top of those. Excellent, that was the first one. Then I only need to do it three more times. And after that, we will now remove the old running lights.
From time to time, we will be riding in areas where there is absolutely no street lights. It makes it no problem for me that these running lights point straight ahead. The lower set of running lights will be tilted slightly downwards and they will be used as the normal running lights. Come on guys, just admit it, you all think I've forgotten about that opening now.
Excellent. That'll work very well. Just need to heat that shrink tube a little bit more. Then position the cable and fasten it. And we're ready to start on the left side. I um, think we ended up with something looking pretty good here. I would appreciate it if you uh, would leave a comment and tell me what you think.
And now, let us hook it all up and see that it actually works. Finally, do the big test. LEDs, relays, it all works. Brilliant. Now, we will remove the tank and install some LED fancy show lights. We are not going to overdo these colored LED lights, but um, the ones mounted under the tank only shines on top of the carburetor mostly. And we need at least one more strip strategically positioned so it can actually cover the chrome further down.
Here you see another thing that is on the list. And now for the comparison. This was done with the same camera, camera settings, bike position, camera position and time of evening. The only difference is that one evening had a little rain. Low beam, high beam, running lights on, running lights off, High beam off. Low beam, high beam, upper running lights, lower running lights, lower running lights off, upper running lights off, high beam off. If you like us, I've been wondering if your stock Valkyrie lights will cut it. Just go ahead and upgrade to LED lights. For yours and other people's safety, just change your lights if you have the least opportunity to do it. You will not regret it. The uh, result is amazing.
if you remember this scene from the beginning of the video, it was quite difficult to recreate it because these lights are so insanely bright. And for the stage light, not too much, but it gives an elegant touch in the evening. For all of you that has been watching us putting things on this Valkyrie, thank you very much for watching. We are still going to continue making Valkyrie videos. We will make a spring cleaning video. We will make a uh, appreciation video. We have also been uh, told about something called a Magna Charger. Some of these things will take quite some time to prepare. So uh, thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.